A buddy of mine, Dan Real, who has a great website, realworldview.com, he sends me this article that appeared in Politico, the left-wing putative news site. I read this article, and I immediately sent it all over the place, which I don't always do, including to a number of my colleagues and friends in the radio business. And I have a little update on it, but I want you to hear about this. Some of you listen to talk radio all day. You may have heard some of this, but you haven't heard me get into it yet, and I've done a little bit of background checking. Congressional leaders in both parties are engaged in a high-level confidential talk about exempting lawmakers and capital hull aides from the insurance exchanges they're mandated to join as part of Obama's health care overhaul, sources in both parties said. The talks, which involve Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, House Speaker John Boehner, and the Obama administration and other top lawmakers, are extraordinarily sensitive, with both sides acutely aware of the potential for political fallout from giving carve-outs from the hugely controversial law to 535 lawmakers and thousands of their aides. Discussions have stretched out for months, sources said. Source close to the talk says... Everyone has to hold hands on this and jump or nothing is going to get done. Yet if Capitol Hill leaders move forward with the plan, they risk being dubbed hypocrites by their political rivals in the American public. By removing themselves from key Obamacare components, lawmakers and aides would be held to a different standard than people who put them in office. You know, uh, folks, let me just stop here. You know what bothers me more than these politicians like Boehner? are the mouthpieces in the so-called media for them. And I'm talking about even so-called conservatives, pseudo-conservatives, putative conservatives, and they're all over the place, like Jennifer Rubin over at the Washington Compost. She defends all these people. Others do as well. And so conservatives, we, oh, something wrong with us when we look at something like this. More on that in a moment. Democrats in particular would take a public hammering as the traditional boosters of Obamacare. Republicans would undoubtedly attempt to shred them over any attempt to escape coverage by it unless Boehner and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell give Democrats cover by backing it. There's concern in some quarters that the provision requiring lawmakers and staffers to join the exchanges, that's these exchange things that are out there, if it isn't revised, could lead to a brain drain on Capitol Hill, what's left of it, as several sources close to the talks put it. Now, here's the deal. The problem stems from whether members and aides set to enter the exchanges would have their health insurance premiums subsidized by their employer, in this case, the federal government. you believe this? If not, aides and lawmakers in both parties fear that staffers, especially low-paid junior aides, could be hit with thousands of dollars in new health care costs, prompting them to seek jobs elsewhere. Older, more senior staffers could also retire, jump to the private sector rather than face a big financial penalty. They've created this monstrosity. The very people who've created this monstrosity now are trying to escape it. We can't escape it. We the people, we can't escape it. Time and again we've warned about this statute. Time and again we knew what it would be. These people vote for it, and now they're trying to escape it. And even those who haven't voted for it are such quizzlings, they won't take effective steps to defund it. Meanwhile, for themselves and their own families, for their own health, for their own finances, they're looking for a way out. They want to be subsidized by you and me. That's the bottom line. The Obama policy that the government has written and has imposed on every single private health insurance company. These policies are extraordinarily expensive because a big percentage of our society is subsidized. In other words, more freebies, more redistribution of wealth, more politicizing policies. Oh, you want condoms? You get them for free. Oh, you're 25 and a half? You get coverage too. Oh, you have a pre-existing condition? Oh, we'll take care of you too. Well, somebody has to pay for it. And apparently, members of Congress and their staffers don't want to pay for it. Now, let me tell you something, folks, what I told one of my buddies in this business. This is what revolutions are made out of. No, I'm not proposing it. I'm not encouraging it. But this kind of two Americas, the rulers and the ruled, is simply unacceptable, and yet more and more it's becoming ingrained in this society. Lawmakers, especially those with long careers in public service and smaller bank accounts, are also concerned about the hit to their wallets, 
House Minority Loop Stumpy Hoyer of Maryland is worried about the provision. The number two House Democrat has personally raised the issue with Boehner and other party leader sources said. Meanwhile, the Democrat Party stands jackbooted together, refusing to adjust this law in any respect. And no, I don't mean put fixes in. I mean repeal any aspect of it. Even though they know from their own experiences that it's a disaster. The Democrat Party is like a religious cult. They're fanatics. They're zealots. Even for things that they know don't work, even for things that they know spread misery and are damaging, they're going to defend it to the hilt. They just want to cut a deal so it doesn't apply to them. If this doesn't infuriate folks, nothing will. If this doesn't frustrate you, nothing will. Everybody knows this is a quote-unquote train wreck because that's the nature of big government socialism. Everybody knows that the vast majority of you are going to be furious once this thing kicks in. I just read somewhere, and we're reading these things all the time now, that policies for individuals who go out and purchase their own policies, these are the people who pay their own way, that they're going to go up 25 to 50% at the beginning of next year, pricing people out of the market for the purpose of driving them into government health care, one of these exchanges, which, of course, members of Congress and their staffers want nothing of. No. This law was a disaster from day one, and this law is intended to harm you. Let's look for more. When asked about the high-level bipartisan talks, Michael Steele, a Boehner spokes idiot, said the following, quote, The Speaker's objective is to spare the entire country from the ravages of the President's health care law. He is approached daily by American citizens, including members of Congress and staff who want to be freed from its mandates. If the Speaker has the opportunity to save anyone from Obamacare, he will. Do you believe the crap talk coming out of this guy's mouth? In other words, yes, we're in talks. Yes, we're trying to save our own bacon. But of course, you know, the Speaker has always opposed this law, and he would do anything to kill it. But he won't. They just funded it in the last continuing resolution. We talked about that. Boehner hasn't taken a single effective step to take one penny out of Obamacare. Neither has our dear friend Paul Ryan, chairman of the Budget Committee. None of them have. They keep putting up these votes. Let's vote to repeal Obamacare, which they vote for. Oh, let's repeal it. Then the bill comes, and they say, no, let's keep paying for it. We're only one half of one-third of the government. But reelect us, because without us, what will happen then? What a bunch of frauds. Absolute frauds. Absolute. The, the Republican Party is completely lost. It's got no direction. It's got no leadership. It's lost its way. And then you have these morons with blog sites, columnists, praising them for their courage, for their strength, for their victories. John Boehner. Boehner, you are truly a pathetic disgrace. I'm sorry. And I, of course, as you know, I say that with all due respect. Then we have this piece, a follow-up piece in Politico. House Speaker John Boehner's office has begun hammering Democrats about trying to change an element in Obama's health care law. See, they realize they got caught red-handed, Boehner and the rest of them. Now they're trying to spin because they think you're so damn stupid you're going to fall for anything. Boehner's office has been part of the discussions with Democratic leaders, but his spokesman today put, out, put the onus on Democrats to find a solution to the ambiguity about who will foot the tab when lawmakers and aides are forced onto government-run insurance exchanges? Who will foot the tab? You bastards should foot the tab. Every damn one of you. What do you mean, who should foot the tab? Pay your own way, like the rest of us have to do. Listen to this. Quote, the fact that Democratic leaders want to opt themselves out of the Obamacare exchanges shows that Senator Baucus isn't the only one who realizes the president's health care law is a train wreck, says Boehner spokesman. This, this jerk, again, Michael Steele. The speaker would like to see resolution of this problem, along with other nightmares created by Washington Democrats' health law, which is why he supports full repeal. In the meantime, it's the Democrats' problem to resolve. He will not sneak any language in the bill. Sneak any, he's been sneaking around for months. But he got caught. He got caught. At your leadership. It's unbelievable, is it not? I expect the Democrats to be sleezing around in the shadows. That's where they live. But apparently there's an awful lot of Republicans who live there right with them. Starting with the Speaker of the House. Meanwhile, Harry Reid, 
read, according to the Hill newspaper, this is going on in Washington. We've got terrorists running around the country. We've got a border that's not secure. They're hollowing out the military. Uh, they're allowing Obama to get away with, uh, with uh, delays with our airlines. So this, this is what's going on. This is what's, it's like the, uh, the fall of Rome here. Reed quickly shot down speculation about a possible exemption for lawmakers and staff from the central part of Obamacare. Reed spokesman, spokes idiot Adam Gentleson said Reed has never considered exempting members and staff from the law's insurance exchanges and will not consider it in the future. Quote, they're not now, have never been, nor will there ever be any discussions about exempting members of Congress or congressional. Oh, so it's all made up. So they've been meeting for months. Boehner spoke city, it puts out word, we're going to do whatever we can for all Americans, especially us. But it's the Democrats' fault. And the Democrats say, hey, we never entered into discussions. They were caught. They were caught. Meanwhile, who's talking to us about this law? How do we get the hell out from under? We don't get the hell out from under. We don't. This is a disaster.